Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to upgrade your HTC One to the latest HTC Sense 5.5 UI with Android 4.3 using the Android Revolution HD Custom ROM. As you know, HTC Sense 5.5 brings about some sweet enhancements to your HTC One, such as being able to turn off blink feed permanently. This method will work with all international versions and all US versions except for Sprint. Now before you can complete this process you must meet the requirements. So uh, there's three of them that you need. So HTC One must have an unlocked boot loader. HTC One must have a custom recovery installed such as TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery. I will be using TWRP just so you know. And number three, HTC One must be rooted. Actually, this is not a must, but I highly recommend it anyway. So before you race ahead, watch my video that details step-by-step -step with crystal clear instructions on how to root and unlock your HTC One. You will find a link to that video under resources section of my website post, which will be linked in the description below. Now after you're done, installing a custom ROM becomes easy as pie. If you already have an unlocked uh, and rooted phone, let's dive right in. Okay, so this is an optional step for you guys that want to create a backup before you proceed. So I'm going to show you how to make a full Nandroid backup of your entire system. So if anything goes wrong, you can restore whatever you see right here. So I'm going to I'm going to back up this whole thing with all the apps, all the um, text messages, all the photos, all the videos in this phone on this hard drive right here. Okay, so I'm using a micro USB OTG cable which allows me to connect a USB flash drive as an external storage to my phone. So I actually have a link to a video that explains this whole process so you can go watch that to learn a little more. So what I want you to do for backup is power off this phone and we're gonna go into the custom recovery okay so to go into custom recovery you have to press volume down and power at the same time and then you see the uh, boot loader screen and from here navigate to recovery using the volume up and down keys and then press power and that's going to take you into custom recovery okay so I'm using the TWRP recovery but it's the same for every other recovery the basic thing you want to do is you want to look for a backup button now let's go to backup and what you need to do is you need to make sure at the bottom here it's saying internal storage in fact let me zoom in it says internal storage you want to make sure that goes to you tap on that and then you get this menu and then you choose USB OTG okay and as you can see my USB OTG cable was recognized and it tells me how much free space I have and then you click OK so no, now the backup will in fact go into this cable right here so let me do a swipe to backup okay and this is for TWRP if you're using clockwork mod recovery you again you do you have to mount this guy before you can back it up and the, this is the mounting process here you tap this and you choose which storage you're gonna use so I mounted the the flash drive to my phone press OK and do a swipe to backup again this is an optional step so you can skip this step if you don't want to create a backup and I'll be back once the backup is complete. So once your backup is complete, it's going to say successful on the top, and that means you're good to go. Again, if you want to learn how to use a micro USB OTG cable with a USB flash drive to create backups, uh, go watch that video that's going to be in the recommended watch section on the post on my website. And um, so what you want to do now is you want to reboot the system and go back into the standard Android operating system okay so once you're locked back in you can actually remove this now 
put it aside. And what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and connect your uh, phone to your computer. Once you connect your phone to your computer, I'm going to switch over to your computer. Make sure your phone is actually open while you're doing all that stuff. So we're going to transfer some files over to the phone. Okay, so now we are going to go grab all the files we need to complete this task. Now the first thing I want you to do is I want you to click the link in the description of this video so you can come to this website. This is my website and this is the post that, that has all the links you need. So if you scroll down, you'll see required tasks, which is, you know, unlocking and routing your HTC One. This will take you to my video with step-by-step uh, -step instructions. And this is the resources and this is what you need. So click on Android Revolution HD ROM. This is Sense 5.5 with Android 4.3 okay which is going to take you to this website and over here this is the guy that was uh, able to make this available for us a routing community community uh, so props to him and just scroll scroll all the way down uh, where it says downloads under here it says Android Revolution HD 31.0 so this is the la latest version that has since 5.5 with um, Android 4.3 so if you're watching this video in the future you may see a higher number than this you may see Android Revolution HD 32.0 or 33.0 regardless you can always download the latest version to have the latest updates okay so click here and this is going to take you to his website where he hosts the files and then you can click this one right here make sure it's for HTC one and make sure it says Android Revolution HD 31.0 when you click this your download will start automatically okay so I've already done that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna exit out of everything I'm gonna go to my downloads folder here and here is the file that I downloaded now make sure your HTC one is connected to your computer at this point and all you need to do is you need to copy this file copy and go to your HTC one right here go to the internal storage and paste this file into the internal storage of your HTC one okay that's gonna take a couple seconds there okay so once the copying process is complete that's all you need to do with the computer you can unplug your HTC One and let's switch over to my phone and show you how to complete this process. Okay, so back on our phone, what you want to do is you want to exit out of the phone, you want to power off the device, and we're going to go into the custom recovery. And again, I'm using TWRP, but you can also be using Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now go into the uh, recoveries. What you do is you press and hold power and volume down at the same time. which normally takes you to the boot loader mode. From here, you have to use the volume down key to select recovery. And then once recovery is selected, you press power to go into the custom recovery. Okay, so there's mine. Now before you wipe, I mean before you install any custom ROM, you have to do a complete wipe of your existing ROM. So you have to wipe the existing ROM. So to do that, just look for the option that says wipe on clockwork mod and on TWRP it's right here so you click wipe and then what I like to do is I like to go to advanced wipe right here and I like to choose the Delvic cache the cache the data and the system on clockwork mod what you have to do is you have to do a factory data reset and a wipe cache option so over there you have two options here you got these four options okay so once you choose all four of these guys on TWRP just do a swipe to wipe okay then go back go back again here's the back button at the bottom back one more time and this time I want you to go to install okay then scroll all the way down and that's the file that we actually moved over from our computer into the internal storage of your HTC One. It says Android Revolution HD 31.0.
just tap it okay and swipe to flash which means it's being installed right now okay so let me shut off this light here so you can see the screen clear okay there we go so what you want to do is you want to this is this is a custom installer that they're using so click next okay click agree to the terms click next click next and then it says install without wiping the user data wipe the user data partition just to be safe just wipe it again and then choose which type of phone you have I have the AT&T version it's a US phone so I'm gonna click that click next okay from here you can choose to install or uninstall the apps the Google apps that come with the phone I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now so click next and if you want any of these extra apps you can in fact choose and install them I'm just gonna undo this to save time for now next skip this okay so here it wants me to use the super user app I can choose either one of these I'm just gonna do super su by chain fire I'm gonna click next and then let's just keep this as it is click next and now click install now so basically you can leave everything as it is and click next 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 to get this done everything can be changed later anyway so let's just let, let's um wait for this process to complete okay so it looks like the installation is complete so what we're going to do is we're going to click next one more time we're going to click finish swipe to unlock okay when you go back to your custom recovery just do a system reboot and this is going to relaunch the operating system and it is going to load into your new custom ROM which is going to have Sense 5.5 and Android 4.3 now because this is the first time this is happening it may take a couple minutes a couple extra minutes to load in okay so once your phone loads up it's going to go to the beginning start screen we're gonna um, choose AT&T here okay click next click next just keep skipping this whole stuff all the way to the phone so click next I agree next finish and there we go okay so that is the HTC Sense 5.5 with um, Android 4.3 and just to show you this that this is in fact Sense 5.5 here's the new menu they're talking about so this is the new menu you have on sense 5.5 you can turn off sense if you have to okay so you have an option here where you can just turn blink feed on or off on or off okay I'm gonna keep it on let's go to the settings here go all the way at the bottom about software and as you can see Android 4.3 HTC Sense 5.5 alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.